So good morning guys, this is your Thursday upload. Before we get started, I want to take the opportunity to invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join in the experience of Old Car Auto Guy. This video is going to be a little bit different than other videos where I talk a lot. So if you don't like talking, unfortunately, this might not be the video for you, but it's a lot of interesting information that you might enjoy anyways. So if you want to stick around, thank you very much. Stay tuned and here's what I have to offer. Now there is something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, there's a YouTuber that I follow and his YouTube channel name is Straight Six Fan. And I will put his link right here so that you can follow him. And he recently did a video to Dave Freiberger. And Dave Freiberger is uh, a YouTuber and a columnist for Motor Trend Magazine, Motor Trend TV, and he's a big hot rodder. And he does a lot of custom jobs, a lot of fun stuff, and um, has a lot of weird things that him and one of his cohorts do on, on their little TV show on YouTube. And, or on not, not YouTube but uh, Netflix and his goal I believe on making that video was simply to be able to reach out to him and let him know how much of an inspiration he was to why Grant is such a car guy today and why he chooses and, and does what he does on his channel so uh, I watched the video <clears throat> and I felt a little bit inspired to kind of do the same thing. Now that's not what I'm going to do right here. But I look at, I look back and I say, okay, well, you know what or who inspired me to become a car guy? And it's not hard to tell that it was my dad. As long as I can remember as a, as a young, uh, as a young boy, even at like five years old and, and maybe even a little bit younger. My dad always had an old vehicle of some sort. Now, when we moved from Fredericton to St. Stephen, he had a 62 Chevy Impala two-door hardtop. And that's kind of the very first car that I really remember. Um, not that I remember, but that I remember liking and enjoying and kind of fell in love with the looks of. And if you haven't seen what a 62 Chev Impala looks like. Uh, take a look at this. So you can see why I kind of fell in love with that car. And I think looking back, if I was the type of fellow to want to go and restore another car uh, in the future, I think a 62 Impala would definitely be on that list. But back to the topic, you know, I do say, I, I would say that my dad is, is kind of my biggest influencer on why I'm a car guy today. And not just because my last name is Carr, but that's what a lot of people think. You know, we're, we're uh, my last name is Carr. We're in the car business, but it's just coincidental, purely. Outside of my dad, I would watch a lot of Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning TV, and I don't know if a lot of you guys remember Sam and Dave. Uh, from Shade Tree Mechanic and uh, remember the very first episode of that that I saw was probably back in the late 80s and then they had an old Ford Ranger the square body style basically back when the Rangers went from a full-size truck into a compact truck so it was probably somewhere around the vicinity of like a, an 84 5 or 6 Ford Ranger and they were doing some dress ups to it and they were doing things like new door panels and seat covers and floor mats and all that sort of thing. And I thought that was a pretty neat show. So I started watching that. 
And that show itself, Shade Tree Mechanic, evolved over the years. And from Shade Tree Mechanic to Two Guys Garage, and eventually Sam and Dave kind of phased themselves out of that show, and they became a couple of other, uh, a couple of other guys. And basically, it was along the same thing. It was how to uh, work on your own vehicles, and they would show you kind of well, as much as TV can, step by step on how to do things, such as installing a radiator or a turbo or a new drive shaft or exhaust or something like that on a car. And it was a show like Shade Tree Mechanic that really set the pace for for me wanting to be a part of the automotive, whatever you want to call it. I remember. Um, there was a show that came on later on in my life on TV called Car Crazy. Now the host of the show was Barry McGuire from McGuire's Waxes and all that stuff. He was a little bit of an odd duck, but one of the things he always used to say was, or used to refer to himself as, is a car guy. And I feel like it was shows like his and Shade Tree and, you know, the involvement with my dad at his shop when he ran the transmission shop uh, downtown for years was turning me into a car guy. Now my son, obviously a third generation of, of this business, is falling in that same in those same footsteps where he sees a car coming from like half a mile away and he'll tell you what it is before he even get there, whether it's coming or going, just by the taillights or headlights. And he's more, he knows a lot more about the exotic cars than I ever do because I'm kind of a classic car guy. And he is too, but he always seems to be uh, into the the exotics like, you know, the Lamborghini Huracan and some of the Ferraris and Porsche 911s or 9 whatever they're called these days and um, stuff like that. So that's the, that's the stuff that he's into, but I felt, but I feel like in my heart, that I've done something right unintentionally is get my kid into cars and I saw a meme on Facebook one time that said teach your kid how to work on cars and he'll never have enough money to do drugs and look I think I fell into that same category myself with my dad because my dad taught me a lot about cars I classify myself as mechanically inclined I can do a lot mechanically I never did go to school to get my license but I can do just about anything on a car that you ask me to. Uh, I can diagnose a lot of problems, and uh, but with I just don't have a piece of paper that says that I am a mechanic. So I don't ever try and refer to myself as a mechanic because I do know that those guys go through uh, a lot to get that title and to get that license. And uh, with years and years of experience, they get really, really good at what they do, such as Tim, my mechanic. And so... You'll never hear me call myself a mechanic. I'll tell you that I'm mechanically inclined. So right from the time I was, you know, four and five, right up till now, I mean, I'm about to celebrate my 43rd birthday. And I still classify myself as a car guy. Uh, you know, my dad is in his late 60s and he's still a car guy. He's still, you know, obviously with the 36 Dodge project and uh, and me with my, uh, with my Cordoba. And, you know, Alex someday will have something that he'll want to uh, get himself into spend a few bucks on and, uh, and and roll into you know having a little project car now Grant who is straight six fan um, that's his goal is to set aside four thousand dollars American because he, he's in the uh, US set aside four thousand dollars find a car fix it up so that it's drivable and be able to have fun with it and I don't think that's too unrealistic and, uh, you know, in the Midwest where he's from, that's a prime, that's prime country for finding something that has uh, zero to no rust. Um, maybe a barn find somewhere. Maybe it doesn't have to be, you know, an old classic Camaro or Mustang or something like that. But he likes the unique cars, just like I do. I've got the Cordoba, and uh, the Cordoba for me is unique in the fact like I mentioned in a previous video, that I just don't see myself driving every day. You don't see, you don't meet another Cordoba driving down the street. My wife's new Veloster, same thing. 
you don't see a Veloster going down the street every day. There's like one other one in St. Stephen and a population of about 5,000 people. So it's pretty unique to own that vehicle. So Grant wants to do the same thing. I'll, I'll Again, I shared his link at the beginning of the video, but I'll put it in the comment section below so that you can follow along with him and his dreams and his desires to want to uh, do exactly what I just said. Uh, spend a little bit of money, have a little bit of fun, and enjoy being a car guy. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little bit of a brief talk. I know that I did a lot of talking, but sometimes it, a video like this comes about based on inspiration. I will do a video and talk a little bit more about my inspiration on why I uh, became a car guy and why I do some of the things that I do. Uh, but for now, I'll leave you with this, and uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to me rant on here for a little bit. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really enjoy when you guys comment uh, on my videos. I like the fact that you can give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below. It means a lot to gain some traction with this channel and hopes to grow it for the future. And remember guys, keep looking out your windshield. Stop focusing on the rearview mirror. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next upload.